Hey everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how you can add accessories such as hats and shit on your Vroid model in Unity. So let's say you have a character and you want to put a very specific hat on your character. Like let's say this hat right here. Look at this beautiful witchy hat. Um, let's say you purchased this hat off of one of those 3D stores or um, your friend made it for you or whatever. And you want to use this hat on your model. Well, first thing you're going to do is you're going to drag both your model and the hat into the hierarchy. And what you're going to do is you're going to move the hat using the move tool. You have a rotate tool and then you also have a scale tool. Um, and you're going to move and scale your hat or whatever you want to your head. And we're just going to kind of like maybe flip it like that. Maybe we get a little, uh, little, little smaller. Maybe, maybe give it a little like rotate. Bam. Just kind of move it. Just kind of find where you want this hat to be. Right? Beautiful. Good enough. <clears throat> um, and now let's say we have. Uh, we want to put color to it, so we're gonna right click on the. If it didn't already have like a material that goes with it. Right click and do create and then we're gonna want material and you can name it whatever the hell you want. I'm not gonna name it because I'm lazy. And then we're gonna come over here and it says shader. We're actually gonna do the VRM shader with Mtune because that is the one that they use for the rest of the body. And then over here we're gonna see these textures. This is the texture I'm going to use for this. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it. I'm gonna drag and drop into both of them because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, and I clicked on this square in order to make this pop up. Uh, and that's just to shade. I'm going to just do a gray. Uh, and then what I do is I take this material and I just drag it right on top of that hat. And now the hat has, uh, a material. And then over here, let's say we want to add some shading. Just like adjust some of this. Oh, and, um, maybe I uh, need to make it darker. Got it. You make it darker. Need to adjust. I'm just gonna remove the uh, the map I had because I want it back here. It was just my bad. And then we just kind of adjust how we want the shader built to look. So I'm gonna have that there because I really want some shade on this button. All right. <clears throat> so we're not done yet. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to open up uh, your hierarchy for your model, and you're gonna go until you find the neck, the head, the head, and you're gonna grab your hat and you're going to drop it in the head and that's it that's pretty much it you should now be done uh, you will notice however when you go into things like uh, scene and let's say you grab the hips and you want to rotate it's gonna grab onto the hat I don't know why it does this well I do know why it does it but I, I, I don't know how to fix it in unity it's something that could be fixed in uh, blender, but I don't know how to do it in Unity. Uh, everything's kind of like attached itself to that hat, but it's fine. It'll work normally in any other program. And this is how you do it. And then you just select your avatar and then file and you want the export humanoid. And you should be good. And that is how you would add any objects from say booth or wherever on your character. Yep. So if this uh, short video has helped you out at all, please give it a like, uh, subscribe and all that other jazz. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye.